In the height of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was hard to register cars and get license plates. Now, four years later, you still see some temporary tags way past their expiration. Yeah, apparently some Aurora drivers are fed up with it, and they're asking police to do something about it. Your reporter in Aurora, Michael Beta, caught up with the traffic team. This is something the people of Aurora want. They asked city council and the police department to crack down on bad registrations. Obviously, the boxes are a little different sizes. When it comes to license plates, Sergeant Scott Benedict with Aurora Police knows what's real and what's not, and he's seen it all. I think the age of how old some of them are are pretty, pretty striking because there's guys that haven't been employed here near as long as some of these, these temp tags are expired. He's the motorcycle enforcement team sergeant, and he and his colleagues have been busy lately. They have undertaken an effort to crack down on people with bad registrations, whether that be an expired tag, fake temporary plates, or even people driving without a plate altogether. He says if you drive anywhere in Aurora, you will see it's a big problem. It's pretty pretty constant. Like, you can just drive a couple minutes and you see four or five of them probably. So big, in fact, that this initiative wasn't exactly the police department's idea. While they've always had the ability to pull you over for registration violations, it was the people of Aurora who finally said enough is enough. The citizens of Aurora notice it as well as we do. They've reached out to their, their local elected officials. They've reached out to our chief's office. Um, and they've uh, expressed their concern. He says the department understands mistakes happen, and sometimes there's a financial reason why people don't make sure their registration is up to date. But if you do get pulled over in this summer blitz, the penalty isn't cheap either. The fines range anywhere between $15 and $75. Um, out the door for the ones that are expired 60 days plus with the, with the surcharge, um, it's $95.50. And he says while other departments may have different policies, that doesn't affect his orders from the people at all. This is a concern that has been brought forth by our chief's office, our citizens, our council members, and we recognize that it is an issue. That's why we're dedicating our MET team to go out and force this throughout the summer. In the first week of crackdowns, Aurora police say they have already issued 75 summons and they're not prepared to stop anytime soon. In Aurora, Michael Laveta covering Colorado First. And Michael covers all things Aurora for you, so let him know about what's going on in your neighborhood through cbscolorado.com. You can always call that tip line number you see right there, 303-863-TIPS.